okay today. I'm a real llama owner. I feel like I finally, 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 finally made it. This is etc. She is a love, and you can see if you follow the camera, she's got the she's on the hose. I should have seen this coming. This is her favorite spot to be. Tell me how good does she have it? She can reach the water bucket with her long leg, and she's in a almost a swimming pool of water. This is my pregnant girl, Rev. At least I hope she's pregnant. Uh, she certainly acts it. She's my hardest, most temperamental llama since her pregnancy. And she, like all the others, came out to be hosed. I started with my beloved SP. I don't know if you can see me hosing her, but she's just standing here. None of them whatsoever needed a halter or a lead rope. Uh, I just I just started with SP because she's the easy one. And I started hosing her and then Tess came out. I didn't have my camera at this point. I figured that et cetera, et cetera wasn't going anywhere and um, God bless her. This, this rev has really minded it. Take a look at her belly. She's so dark it's hard to see but I think that's a pregnant belly. She's due September 7th, and she just will literally stand here as long as I hose her. And I can't move the hose because my beloved, etc., is underneath it. And she's not moving anytime soon because she's liking where she is. Come on over here, Rev. Come on. Come over here. Can I get you to move? Come on over here. That place is getting mucky. Come on. No? Well... They're not too spoiled, are they? We're doing the legs and the belly. And as you can see, she's not going anywhere. I'm not so sure how long you're supposed to hose them, but I guess as long as they'll stay. Uh, and I think the real big fight will be over who gets to be here. They'll sometimes spit each other off for food, but I think this is the new one. I don't mind at all if etc. gets to hold down the fort on this one because she was the first one I had Tabitha clip. That would be Tabitha Halbert of Long Island Livestock and she's wonderful. And uh, I sort of just thought I'd get barrels because she was younger but after I saw how good they'd be and how comfortable they'd be, I did the rest in nudies except for my French poodle back there. Tell me if you don't agree but etc. has a to die for face. I think she's beautiful. Um, and in the sun, she's a pretty red. And there's my pregnant Tess. Now tell me, please tell me, does she look like a pregnant belly? I'm hoping so. Okay, I'm going to go back to hosing. But as I said, all six of them were hosed today. Um, they all came out at the same time. Okay, I guess Rev's had enough. So, this is RJ signing out of Pine Hill Farms from my first, I apologize, sort of sloppy video of the girls getting hosed all by themselves. I finally feel like I am a totally there in the moment, good llama mama, because I did it on their terms with them coming to me. Ciao!